How's it going today there, YouTube? Well, I've had a whole heck of a lot to make videos on here lately. Just uh, been a busy guy working overtime and whatnot, but we got our overtime finished up for the year there last weekend. So today is Christmas Eve, and of course, I want to wish everybody that watches our channel here a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this will probably be the last video to make before Christmas. Of course, this is Christmas Eve, so uh, <laughs> I haven't really made too many videos here lately, but of course, kind of a busy guy. Anyway, I'm just on the way down to the local John Deere dealer here, uh, looking to get a few things and whatnot. Got the day off today, so uh, I guess it's kind of it's not really considered a stat holiday, I guess, but we can write in the book as well. So. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna uh, drive on here. I don't know if I have any shelf models I'm looking for. I'm not really looking to pick up too many more shelf models at the moment. Although there was some interesting things that came up there just after the National Farm Toy Show. I was kind of looking through a poster I had a minute one night. I seen they're coming out with a uh, 116 scale WA-17 John Deere Wagner that Wagner built. So I may have to, I may pick that up next year in the summertime when it gets released. And there's a few other little odd things here and there I'm going to pick up. But uh, that's the size of the fact I haven't really done much in the way of farm toys here on YouTube in the last few years. Of course, I've been doing the big tractors and whatnot. And, well, there's going to be more to come with that here in a little bit. Just, uh, been too darn busy to go get anything. That's all it is. But I just wanted to make a mention here quick, too. You guys know I'm a scrap guy. If any of you guys got scrap copper, I do highly suggest you go and take your copper in right now because the market, I don't think, has ever been higher than the market is right now in a very long time, if at all. Took a bunch of stuff in there yesterday and bare bright wire right now at $3.90 a pound. $3.90 a pound. Guys, I've never seen that in almost 10 years. I take a scrap metal. Of course, you guys know me. I do a little bit of everything. I do copper, steel, brass, aluminum, iron, appliances, white goods, you know. I do it all, so I've never seen never seen scrap oh there's a 4230 John Deere anyway uh, yeah like I said I pretty much do a little bit of everything and at the same time I've never seen those kind of prices and even right now cards are up in price shreds up in price appliances are up in price they're paying 205 a ton now for for appliances so that's a lot better than it had been at least this year anyway I know back in March there's like Took a truckload of stuff, and the buddy was telling me if you brought this in two weeks ago, it would have been worth about five bucks, and it was about oh, about six hundred pounds worth of materials. So the way this year's been with the COVID and whatnot, it's definitely been uh, going for the books. It's been very difficult on a lot of a lot of people. And of course, China wasn't buying any scrap metal to make new stuff with, so the prices were all very low this year for the most part. Until I looked up yesterday, and I don't really check scrap prices too much at the end of the day it's just a hobby for me i'm not making a living off it i don't really care what's worth it I just do it just to make a little bit of pocket change but uh got looking there yesterday morning and it was like whoa i wasn't sure the computer had a glitch or what it was there's three dollars and ninety cents a pound so i ended up calling them and said yep it's 3.90 a pound right now so i was like okay i'll see you this afternoon so we got that done i'll show you guys kind of what i had when i get back home here but anyway i'm gonna drive and I'll uh, talk to you guys here in a bit. I kind of wish this sign wasn't in the way, but I wanted to make a mention in a video here. And I wanted to kind of do this last year after I brought the W4 home, but I just never got a chance to do it. This building here used to be Charlie Richards Equipment in, of course, Stouffville, Ontario. This is the dealer that had the retirement sale last year in the fall of September. And this is where I bought that W4 from and brought it home. This is this was one of the last independent international harvester dealers that was left i don't know if that's in ontario or just up here in, or, uh, in north america or just in ontario i'm not 100 percent certain on that fact but they, he was one of the last independent international harvester dealers that was left well you know i haven't been here in almost a year the build all that's left is the building there used to be a big steel shed in the background there it used to be it's gone now Kind of wish the sign wasn't in my road, but you guys get the idea. There was just a little small dealership. Then the front there was the showroom. And in the back was a shop. You might be able to see the bay doors there. But, uh, yeah. 
that's all that's left of Charlie Richards equipment. He does have a uh, another uh, dealer, but it's a New Holland dealer up in uh, Barry kind of area. I've never been up there just yet, but this was the original uh, case dealer, and I've been getting stuff out of here for almost 25 years. It's still kind of a shame that it, that it went, but uh, I wanted to say I'm glad he got the chance to retire. Well, I didn't buy nothing at John Deere. I went in and said hi to the guys and whatnot. Of course, I've been buying stuff out of there for t over 25 years. So uh, I went in and wished everyone a Merry Christmas and picked up a couple of calendars and whatnot. I was also inquired about a, r a new riding mower because I'm still looking to pick one of those up. Probably it'll be next year in the spring or summertime. But if I heard correctly, I think they said they're redesigning them for next year. They're kind of like they got the, the D and the E series now. I think they're going to come back as like an S series or something like that. If I heard him correctly, but of course between the mast and I'm got kind of hard of hearing anyways. I don't know if I heard him correctly or not, but that's kind of what I gathered anyway. But maybe on uh, Saturday or Monday, if Charlie's going to be open, I'll go up to Charlie Church's on Saturday because I do need a few things at W4. I want to get a couple of oil filter elements, and there might be uh, you know a scale model to come home or something. I don't know kind of been thinking I want to get that Oliver 2255 from uh, Speccats just got released there a little while ago so I think I want to pick that up so I am due for a trip down to Jolly's Farm Toys here one of these days but like everything else don't exactly have the most time in the world to do that kind of stuff right now would also like to get that 175th anniversary K steam engine but of course they're not exactly easy to find they're very expensive but oh well if I find one somewhere We'll bring it home, whatever, it's only money. Alright guys, well, I'm going to sign off here for a bit, and I'll check in with you guys when you get home. Alright guys, I'm back home here now. I just want to show you guys these prices on scrap copper right here. Look at this. three ninety a pound. That's uh, Bear Bright copper wire. This is number one copper pipe, three seventy a pound. And uh, pipe is generally always lower than wire. A 370 like I said I don't think I've ever got that ever for pipe and it's had some uh, mixed stuff here but even still 355 for number two uh, I had two but I had uh, like it's mixed with solder and whatnot so you get dark for that but I didn't have very much in any way then just had some odd odds odd and brass stuff I took in but not a bad day at the scrapyard so uh, you know a little bit of pocket change for Christmas time I want to show you guys those prices if you guys got copper take it in now man never seen the price like this or uh, I don't think it'll ever be that high ever again so or if you got it run her in also wanted to make a quick mention here before I end this video if anyone's interested in donating to the Georgian Bay Steam Show Club the link will be in the description box down below we gotta do all we can to keep our clubs going guys of course last year with no steam shows uh, it makes things difficult for everybody so if you can help out we greatly appreciate it thank you very much now, it's just a quick video today for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, please comment, rate, subscribe. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys next year. Take care.